Hi, welcome to Home Cooking with Cheryl. And today I'm going to show you two meals. The first one's going to be my sweetened baked veal with penne noodles, and my second one will be cheesy baked zucchini. So first things first, I'm going to preset my oven to 400. While I'm presetting my oven to 400, I'm going to put some water into my pan to boil my penne noodles. I'll get my veal. I have a little over half a pound. It's enough for two people. So it's actually two slices. So what I'm going to do with my veal is prepare it. I'll have egg wash and then for my sweetened veal I like to use a cup of frosted flakes along with Parmesan cheese and then salt and pepper it. I'll put it into the egg wash and then to the uh, frosted flake mixture. The more you crush the corn flakes the better, it, the, the better it is. So I like the tiny flakes. This way here it sticks to the veal better. So what I'm going to add is a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. So I'll pour that in the bag. I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. Mix it all up. And I'll pour it into my tin. I like using these tins because in this way here I don't have to worry about washing it. I can just throw it away. I have my one egg in the measuring cup and I'll mix it. I'll pour it into my tin. So I have about a tablespoon of water. Just mix it very well. I have two thinly sliced pieces of veal. I'll put it into the egg. Then I'll put it into the frosted flakes with the Parmesan cheese mixture. Make sure that it's coated very well on both sides. I have my 10 by 14 baking pan that I'm going to butter the bottom to. I'll place it into my baking dish. You can see it sticking on there. I can see the salt and pepper and the Parmesan cheese. It really smells good. That it's coated, I'll place this one into my baking dish. I'll place it in my oven that I already have preheated at 400. I'll bake it in the oven for 20 minutes. My water is boiling for my penne noodles. I'll lightly salt the boiling water. And then I have about four cups of the penne noodles that I'm going to add to the water. While my veal is baking in the oven and my penne noodles are boiling, I'll get to my sauce. I use one large can, 29 ounces of tomato sauce. So I'll open this up, pour this can into the pan. Hey, pour this can into the pan, it rhymes. To my sauce, I'm going to sweeten it along with the sweetened baked veal. So I'm going to add two teaspoons of sugar. And once I have it on the stove, I'll mix it in. To my sauce, I'm going to add a teaspoon of parsley flakes. I have my stove on medium. As soon as it comes to a simmer, I'll take it out, put it on top of my veal, and then the sauce will bake in the oven for about an hour with the veal. While my veal is baking in the oven, and my sauce is simmering on the stove, and the penne noodles are boiling, I'll start the second dish of cheesy baked zucchini. It's a very easy dish to make. My noodles are ready to be drained, so I'll take them off the stove and then drain them. And I, I'll just leave them off to the side here. I'm going to check my sauce because I hear it boiling. I'll mix it. Looks really good. It smells good in here too. So I turned my sauce on low. It's been about 20 minutes. It browned up nicely. So now what I'm going to do is add my sauce to this sweetened veal. You can hear how hot that pan is. I'll take my spatula and lift up the veal 
to make sure that there's sauce that goes under the veal. See how nicely that is? It didn't even stick. I'm going to put tin foil on this and put it back in the oven and let it bake for one hour. I'm going to place my tin foil on top. Make sure it's sealed up good. And place it back into my oven for about an hour. But I'm going to reduce the heat to 325. While my veal is baking in the oven, I'm going to prepare my cheesy baked zucchini. So I have two medium sized zucchinis, about a half an inch. What I'm going to do is steam them a little bit in the pan and then I'm going to bake them in the oven. I have my two zucchini sliced in slices. I'll add them to my pan. Just add very little water to it. I have my stove on high. I'm going to add a little bit of salt and I'll just let that simmer for about three to five minutes. My zucchini is ready to be drained so I'll shut my stove off. I like to use a glass nine inch pie plate for this zucchini dish. So what I'm going to do is just place my zucchini on the dish. I have a 14 ounce can of stewed tomatoes that I'm going to drain and add that to the zucchini. Just randomly put them anywhere as long as it's mixed in with the zucchini and I'll add the old S&P on top salt and pepper now I'll add four ounces of the Parmesan cheese I have a four ounce cup that I keep in my Parmesan cheese and just sprinkle it all around. That's why I call this dish my cheesy baked zucchini. So I'll place my tin foil on top. Make sure it's secure. I'll place this in the oven with my veal for about 20 minutes and my veal will be ready and my baked cheesy zucchini. It's been an hour. So what I'm going to do is turn off my oven, take out my uh, veal and also my zucchini. So here's what my sweet and baked veal looks like. I have a little bit of penne noodles on the side. See, look at that, it comes right off the dish really nice. I'll add just a little sauce on my noodles. And there's the cheesy baked zucchini. The cheese nicely melted on there with the zucchini. See, I don't even need a knife. The fork cuts it right for me. So I'll try a little bit of the sweetened baked veal. Mmm. Wow. That's really good. I mean, I can taste the frosted flakes on there. It's really sweet. Now I'll test the zucchini, the cheesy zucchini. I love zucchini. Mmm. That is really good. The combination of all three of them really, really good. I highly recommend this dish. I mean, the veal is nice and tender. The zucchini, it, it's, it's perfect. I want to thank you so much for all the emails that I've been receiving. I really, really love them and thank you for sending them. And if you'd like, you can email me at Cheryl's Real Video World at yahoo.com. And any comments or requests, I'll gladly reply. And I thank you very much for tuning in to Home Cooking with Cheryl. And I highly recommend this dish. It's really, really good. Thanks for watching.